Hey everyone, this is Kelly, and today I want to share with you where I'm at with my December Memories album. I finished up the opening pages yesterday and kind of wrapped everything up, so I'm pretty much all ready to begin documenting um, December 1st. And that's one thing I love about this project is just getting it all put together beforehand so during the month I can easily just focus on taking photos and you know stories and putting things together without having to really think too much about the album structure so it's all kind of put together for me um, ahead of time. So this is the album I'm using and it's the Gossamer Blue December Memories kit and it came with this big album from Simple Stories and I have a post on my blog about how I painted this white and then added the washi tape which is like a gold and clear check to the side and then this um, pretty December medallion like it's a chipboard medallion on the front and then on the side I added actually the date which is some glitter stickers from the kit. Um, I actually have some paint there that I'll probably just try to get off later but right now it's fine. Um, so that is the outside and I'm just gonna show you on the inside what I've done. Um, the album doesn't stay open too well on its own right now um, but I started with this um, Mary card. It was a little 4x6 card and I kind of trimmed it down and put the 25 days of Mary and this is just some gold glitter stickers that were in the kit and then this 25 was a like piece of wood veneer that I used um, some this gold um, glitter zing and my embossing gun on that so I thought it was really pretty and kind of matched that gold um, piece on the front and on the other side, I just wrote a little bit about um, December and got kind of honest about how I feel about the holidays and why I do this this album um, for the past, you know, several years. So that was kind of nice. I haven't done that in the past, and I thought that was a good little place to write that about just our feelings and, you know, what I look for in the month of December. So... Next is this um, page protector with all these little um, pockets and I've seen other people do these and I just think they're so cute and fun and I just thought that was a good opening page. Um, the kit came with a lot of these little square uh, pieces of paper so I just filled them up and I'm trying to use everything from the Gossamer Blue December Memories kit. I'm not really using any products outside of the kit except I did want an X in here for our last name so that's um, from Heidi Slop. It's just from my stash and I just put that in there and it's kind of just floating in there and I might sew it down or something. I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, it's just a bunch of little pieces of paper down here that says joy and I sewed that pocket shut. Up here at the top I used some of the paper that I wasn't using and I had a heart punch and I just punched out a bunch of paper and made like a little confetti pocket. So I see people do that too and I think it's so cute. So I just sewed that down and on the back side it's just more fun stuff. I cut some bigger cards down, like this Joy was a bigger card that I cut down. And so was this one, and that's about it. Added some sequence in here. And the date card, it just says December 2015. So that's my opening pages. This kinda, I just loved this paper, so it was basically the background I like that you could see through. So I'm not gonna do anything on this, I'm just gonna leave that as is. And then throughout the album, um, these two pages I'm either going to sew together or just adhere with some roller tape together. And this is kind of my plan. Um, the kit came with a bunch of these pattern papers, pockets, and then some a bunch of cards, like different size cards for the pockets. And so my plan is to have one page where I'm going to put the number of the day. So like a one here. And then I'm going to do photos and stories in the pocket. And then on this next page, I want to put a full-size photo. And then it would continue on. So I've set up the album like that. Um, this is 
a lot different than what I have done in the past on my December albums, but I'm really excited to try something different. It's it's going to be, I think, a lot more um, stories and photos, but I think I may just, you know, in my Project Life album, not do as much Project Life spreads for December and kind of use this as that that area to hold all that stuff. So we'll see. I'm open to changing things up as I go and removing things or cutting pockets down or taking pockets out. I've actually um, not, I have, don't have 25 of these setups in here because I thought maybe there would be a time when I just had one thing that I wanted to insert and that would be the day. So um, I'm open to doing whatever. Um, and as you can see, it just keeps going. And when I sat down to do this, I was just pairing maybe like colors together and cards that I liked putting those together. So again, it would be the date or the number here, photos and stories, and then a large picture. And it just keeps going through the whole album. To punch these holes, I used a crop -a dial So this will be on hand throughout the month. Um, just had that tool forever and it works great and you can just see it just keeps going the, the colors and everything in this kit were were some of my favorites I thought they did a great job matching everything and uh, I'm, I'm really excited to, to see how it, it's going to work out I, I might change some things up I might it might just work perfectly I'm not sure um, but at least I have a foundation and I have a plan so when I sit down I kind of know which direction I'm heading in and I will move things around for sure you know this card I may move this to the front for when I'm sending out my Christmas cards you know or I might leave it there I'm not sure yet and it just keeps going until the the 25th so I obviously used the Merry Christmas card at the back and then I just have some extra pockets back here. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it's not crazy right now. I do have a tray of all the goodies that came in the kit and I will definitely be stamping and embellishing as I go. Um, I didn't really do any of that up front. So um, you can see right here I have like a little tray of stuff and then I have a larger tray of you know more papers and like tags and stickers that came in it so that'll all stay together and come out when I am working on this um, my plan is to do a story every day if I miss a day that's totally fine with me and then I will be posting on my blog one um, you know a couple days during the week it's kind of hard with it getting dark you know when I come home from work so um, probably like once during the week and then on the weekends I will will post that so if you want to follow along over there or on Instagram I'll be sharing a lot of that as well and if you have any questions feel free to send me an email or or leave a comment um, like I said this is all from the Gossamer Blue December memories kit and I think there's still some available and it's never too late to get started or um, you don't have to document every single day uh, this was a planner album as well, and I'm not using the planner part of it. So I'm basically making it work for what I want to do. So it's a beautiful kit, beautiful colors, and everything uh, works really well together. So I hope that you are all documenting your December, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for stopping by.